on Adam Strife, Forced to Fight TV. As you know, bringing you raw and real political issues, music, you know, everything under the sun that needs to be talked about. Um, the issue that I want to talk about right now is Sammy Sosa and this bleaching cream. Have you seen what Sammy Sosa looks like lately? Please tell me you have. Let's, boom, put the picture up of Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa has bleached his skin using this cream or this, this special soap or whatever, and he has lightened his skin at least four to five shades. Sammy Sosa was darker than me. Okay, let's, let's keep it real. Sammy Sosa was darker than me. And now he... Son, are you serious? Not only has he, not only has he lightened his appearance, his, his, his skin complexion, but the man is running around with contacts. I, I don't know whether they're blue or green, but I know the man had contacts in when I saw him. And uh, when they asked him about it, he said, oh, well, you know, I'm just trying something different. Trying something different is, you know, changing up your wardrobe. You know, I think it's going to be a t-shirt and, and sneakers day. You know, some, you know, some jeans or whatever. I, I, think, I think I'm going to switch up my wardrobe and I'm only going to walk around in suits. You know, I think I'm just going to wear a bunch of wild-ass t-shirts with all types of crazy sayings on it. That's trying something different. Changing, cutting your hair or coloring your hair is trying something different. Your skin tone, your skin tone, not, it does, I'm not going to say it defines who you are, but it's part of who you are. Adam Strife is a man first, but he, he's a black man. You know, it, it's, it's one of your defining characteristics. You know, sad to say in this country, but it is. It's a defining characteristic of who you are. Sammy Sosa, it's, mm, it's, 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 it's shocking and appalling that not only can you actually do some shit like this, you know, like genetically, like you can physically alter your genetics and shit, but it's a shame that you would want to. It's sad that you would want to. You know, Having the success that you had, you would think that he would feel that it wasn't necessary or that he wouldn't even have that in his mind. But he does. You know, and apparently, I haven't seen anybody really up in arms about it or really talk about it. And this shit is sad. These motherfuckers, you know, hounded and, and tormented Michael Jackson for years. For years, oh, he's using bleach and cream, he's sleeping in oxygen chambers, this, that, da, 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 da. Now this fool is, talk, is on Oprah, talking about, yeah, sleeping is, you know, pure oxygen to the body. It'll get your mind right. It'll help, you know, lessen the aging effects, yada, yada, yada. Now that Oprah then said it's okay to sleep in the oxygen chamber, now these fools is running around paying for oxygen chamber treatments. Now that Michael Jackson, you know, unfortunately has passed away, now we now there's proof now that they could check his DNA in the autopsy and whatnot. Now there's proof that he was suffering from an extreme case of vitiligo, a disease which everyone has seen. You know, you get the little white splotches and whatnot. But if you're if you're a celebrity, and appearance is really that big of an issue, you know, he, him being a black man, he's covered up the white spots with the, with the black paint. With the, the black makeup. Sammy Sosa just woke up one day, apparently, and decided that he wanted to be light-skinned. Not only be light-skinned, but have blue or green eyes. And he says that this is trying something different. You should be ashamed of yourself.